Hi everyone. Well, I finally figured out to make how to make some really small photos for my project life. So I wanted to share that today. Some of you already may know this secret. And if you do, then, oh goodness, send any tips to me that you have about it because I absolutely love it. And it's been right under my nose all this time. It's with a free software called Picasa. It's through Google. I've used Picasa for years, but I've never paid attention to the collage feature within Picasa. I've just always done it to edit my four by six photos, my five by sevens, and send them off to Walgreens, and that was it. I never paid attention to the collage feature. So I'm gonna show that today. I don't know, but I think you need a Gmail account, a Gmail email address, which again is free through Google. Um, but what you would do is you would download Picasa right here. It's at picasa.google.com. Now what I do with mine is I also do download the desktop version. And so I have the Picasa 3. It's like at version Picasa 3.9 right now. So when you click on it and open it, after you first download it, it'll ask you what folders you want to import. And I always have Picasa just import all of my photos. Now I just transferred a whole bunch of iPhone photos onto my computer. So you're probably gonna see that toggling in over here on the side. So sorry about that um, while well, it's updating. Okay, so to show you something really neat about the collage feature, let me show you one that I had made. This one here is in a four by six format. So you kind of have to do a little bit of math. It's not complicated, but just a little bit of math if you want your pictures to be proportioned a certain way. So these are on a one by one aspect ratio, which means all of these squares will be exactly two inches in size when I go to print them. And so they're perfect for Instagram. You can download your Instagram photos, crop them to a one by one um, aspect ratio, and you can print all of them on a four by six. You can put this entire four by six sheet into your sheet protector as it is, or you can cut them up and use them individually, whichever way you want. Where I did that is back here in the library section. Um, I'll go down to my trip here where I took those photos. You'll see my initial photo, I've worked on this a couple of times. So let's say we'll take this photo here. This is my photo just completely downloaded straight off of my digital camera. It's just a, you know, whatever ratio it is. And say you wanna make that for an Instagram or make it a two by two. You would hit the crop photo and then go down to add custom aspect ratio. And this is where I typed in one by one and I named it Instagram and click OK. Now, since I already did that, it's in my list right here. So it has custom aspect ratios and I say Instagram. So now it gives me that perfect square and anytime I move it, it's going to be that perfect aspect ratio. No matter how big or how small I make it, it will be that perfect size. And so then I click it and I hit apply and it crops it to be that aspect ratio that I need. So then what I did is I went into the library and I selected all six of those photos. I said one, two, three, four, five, and six. So you see all six of those photos are selected down here. Then I went up here to create Picture collage. And ta-da! <laughs> it puts them all in there. Now at this point, that's when you can change your page format. Now keep in mind, you kind of need to get your mathematics straight. Because if I had done a 5 by 7 large print, you can see it'll put all six photos on there but they're not going to be that perfect square. It kind of makes them into a rectangle. So if you're wanting those perfect two by twos, then you're going to want to keep the settings back where it was 
with a four by six print because that gives you those perfect two inch squares. Now, also in Project Life, we have those three by four journaling cards. They go horizontal or they go vertical. And so you can do them either way. So another feature that I learned to do is, say I wanna take this photo here and I want to stack it with another photo for the three by four sleeve. What I'm going to do is hit crop and we're going to say, I have one here. It's called three by two half project life horizontal. This will make more sense after I finish. So let me just demonstrate it real quick. So let me select this right here for me and my cousin. Let me go back to the library and let's go find one more. Let's take, let's take this one. And I'll do the same thing, half Project Life Horizontal. And let's go get two more. Let's say we get this one, crop, half Project Life Horizontal. And we just need one more. Let's go find one more photo. Let's say we do this one. Crop, half project life horizontal. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and cancel out of this one because I don't want to use those anymore. Okay, so let me go select all those photos that I just cropped. I think it was this one here, this one here, this one here, and this one right here. Okay, so you'll see all four photos are selected right there. Create, picture collage, and look at that. They are absolutely perfect. So again, this is a four by six. You can put it in your sleeve just as a four by six, or you can cut it in half right here on this line. And guess what you have? You have a three by four project life for uh, what that has two photos on it. Same thing right here. You'll have two photos that are perfectly stacked to fit into a four inch by three inch sleeve for Project Life. I hope this answers some questions, Robin, as well as others. I hope I explained it clear enough. Um, if not, I can make another one, but um, it's really exciting on how you can really use these. Um, now there's one other one that I made. Let me show you that one as well. Let me unselect all of these first. Let me hit close. Okay. Now there's one other setting that I saved. So let me say I want, um, let me show you this one right here. Say I want this photo to fit into a vertical three by four project life sleeve. How are you going to do that? It's very easy. Again, go to crop, this time I created a three by four project journaling card. And so I'm going to select, say this one right here, but you can see it's horizontal. We want it to be vertical. That's okay. It defaulted to horizontal. Just click the rotate button and it will rotate the angle of that rectangle for you to be the proper direction. And then I'll click apply. Now I have a perfect photo that will fit exactly in my three by four project life sleeve. But say you want to save on your printing and you want to print two of these at a time together. 
we can do that. So I'll select that photo there, and I have one more that I already cropped somewhere. Let me find it. Here it is. And I'll hold the control key and hold that one. And so down here, you see I have two photos selected. I'll say create picture collage and boom, there we go. So these are two photos that will fit on one four by six print that you can either export directly to Walgreens straight out of this software, or you can print it on your home printer on your own four by six, um, four by six printer paper. And then you would just be able to cut it right down the middle and you have two photos that fit perfectly into your Project Life sleeves. Um, so what you would do is you would hit Create Collage, and it'll say In Progress. When you go back to your library, it saves all of them in this little collage section over here. And at that point, you can click your little Export button, and you can export them and save them, or you can say um, File and Order Prints. And then from here, you can choose Walgreens, Snapfish, Shutterfly, whatever one you want to use, Walmart, um, any of those to print out your photos onto a 4x6, and then they fit perfectly into Project Life. So I hope that helped you guys. It was just a news flash to me, and I can't wait to use these various sizes in my Project Life. Thanks for watching.